KYTC, and welcome to my new YouTube channel. I didn't know what to do for my first video, so this is what I ended up doing. Ranking. October. Comebacks. So far. I thought I liked this voice, but the more I listen to it the more annoying it gets. Welp. Anyways. Because I can't just do simple rankings I decided to come up with a whole intricate system for it all. Beware that this might change a lot, because I don't really know what I want it to be like yet, and I honestly have no idea what I am doing. I'll be doing rankings out of two main categories, and then in terms of overall. So the order will be, music, just the song as it is, music video, overall. So because it actually took me like three hours to do one comeback, future me has decided that I will only be ranking three comebacks in this video and saving everyone from having to watch an hour-long video. Before saying anything about the comeback, I will let you all know if I knew about the group artist beforehand. I'm going to try to be as unbiased as possible with this, but we'll see how that goes. Anyways, let's get into the video. Gosh, don't you know I'm a savage? Did I know the group artist before listening? Yes. Did I stand the group artist before listening? Yes. First impression, confused. 3 out of 10. Concept style, 8 out of 10. It does fit their futuristic concept. Creativity spice factor, 7 out of 10. Melody 3 out of 10. Didn't like the melody in the first verse. But then the pre-chorus came which I absolutely love. 10 out of 10 pre-chorus, probably my favorite part of the entire song. Didn't love the chorus melody either, but not as bad as the verse, so my rating is okay. Very catchy and smooth transition from chorus to verse too. I like the bridge melody part as well. Lyrics. 9 out of 10. I think it's cool. I feel like there is something behind the lyrics, which makes it a lot more interesting. Since I don't know Korean I have to trust the English translation, and I like the play on words they do. I also feel like this song follows the the previous ones, timeline wise, which I also think is nice. Execution. 10 out of 10. I think the girls killed it. Vocal. Top notch. 10 out of 10. Rap. 7 out of 10. I do like their rapping I just don't like the melody, so it makes it hard to love the rap as well. Was it added to my playlist because I genuinely liked it, no, but I still added it. General, 3 out of 10. Because the verse melody parts really get to me. Overall, 4 out of 10. Because the verse melody parts really get to me and makes it harder for me to listen to. Concept. 10 out of 10. I'd say it's a pretty excellent fit for the ESPA concept. Creativity spice factor. 8 out of 10. I do think they have a good amount of spice factor. I really like the animation bit, I think it's the part that stands out the most to me because they haven't featured it before. Music lyric matching. 7 out of 10. I'd say it matches pretty well. Story. Not really. 2 out of 10. To be fair, practically no music videos nowadays do this, but it's one of my favorite aspects of MVs which is why I included it. I haven't really analyzed the MV or watched any videos of others doing so, but I don't quite see a purpose for the different backdrop scenes. The more I watch it to try and fill up all my questions the more I see some story bits, but I am still confused about it. I like the butterfly connection with Ning Ning though. I do see that one of the scenes are meant to be like the bad taking over, but it's not something I really noticed the first like three times watching it. Quality. 7 out of 10. Pretty good. 
the A members look pretty rough to me which drag the overall quality down a lot. I also get a little bit of a cold feeling from there being so much green screen too. It feels cold to practically only see them dancing, singing, or looking good by a green screen. Nevis looks incredible though like wow. That entire part brings it up as well. Animations and such are good. I was telling myself it's not going to take that long talking about these, but three hours later I realize I am still on Savage and I was very very wrong. Anyways. Choreography. Music lyric matching, 6 out of 10? I don't know what is 0 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 in this category to be quite honest. Concept matching. 10 out of 10. Fun to watch. 5 out of 10. Personally not that entertained. I find the chorus part a bit strange, and it's not that eye-catching to me overall. Creativity. 8 out of 10. Execution, includes stage presence, 6 out of 10. Overall, 6 out of 10. Not that entertaining to me, but I do feel like it fits the concept and music. The pre-chorus part is my favorite in terms of choreography as well. Styling. 10 out of 10. I think Espa pretty much always have flawless outfits and styling. Would I watch it again, because I actually enjoyed it, or just to stream, stream? Overall. First impression. Still confused. 3 out of 10. Concept. For the futuristic e-world 10 out of 10. In my opinion I will give it a 9 out of 10. Creativity Spice. 8 out of 10. It's an 8 for the animation part, I don't know I thought that was a bit unique. Execution. 7 out of 10. Machimichi, Song, MV, Chorio, Outfits, 9 out of 10. Addictiveness. 2 out of 10. It's the verses for me. Final conclusion. Okay. 5 out of 10. I'm about to get in trouble for saying this, but it's just my personal opinion. I love the pre-chorus, but not enough to lift the parts I don't love. And it's been a while since it came out, and it still hasn't flipped me. Don't get me wrong, I love Espa as a group, and have liked their previous comebacks, this just wasn't my favorite. Bop or not? Personally I'd have to say not. Did I know the group artist before listening? Yes. Did I stand the group artist before listening? Yes. First impression. 8 out of 10. I like it. Concept style. 9 out of 10. I personally like this style of music. Don't know what the concept of the song would be though. Creativity spice factor. 10 out of 10, I can't explain why, but it just sounds different to me, like spicy fresh cool mysterious. Melody. 9 out of 10. First verse is nice yeah. I like the build up in the pre-chorus. Chorus is a bop. Lyrics. 10 out of 10, okay but Chill's actually taking the time to read the lyrics. I noticed the magical theme in the video first, and now hearing all the references to it's like the dilemma of choice within dimensions really got me. Execution, 10 out of 10. Vocal, 8 out of 10. I have a hate-love relationship to the effect editing on their voices. On one hand it fits the concept very well, and on the other I don't like how edited it sounds. Rap, is there a rap part? Am I stupid? Was it added to my playlist, because I genuinely liked it, yes. General, 8 out of 10, because of the vocal editing. Overall, 10 out of 10, because I can get over the vocal editing, and appreciate how good the song is. Concept, 10 out of 10, love the boarding school magic concept. Someone really put their time into this. Creativity Spice Factor, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. I just love the concept, and I like how they used the different sceneries that still made sense for the concept. Music Lyric Matching, 10 out of 10, gotta say I feel like this is on point. It's not in your face about it, but if you pay attention you'll know what I mean. Story. 8 out of 10. I do feel like there is some storyline going on, can't quite figure it out though. I love how all the different sceneries align and match with the concept though. Yo it's like my fifth time watching it now, and boy do I like it. 
I did notice the majesty undertones the very first time watching it though. And we love a bit of wizardry. I do feel like this is quite subtle though, which I also kinda enjoy. The whole throwing the football in front of the building gives me Narnia vibes when they were playing around outside and accidentally broke a window. The whole seemingly traveling through different times, see the fancy clothes, also says Narnia to me. Honestly gives me a fresh mix of Narnia, Wope and just a fancy boarding school, like the one in Wild Child. We love the subtleness in this storytelling, it's enchanting to say the least. Choreography 10 out of 10. Music lyric matching 10 out of 10. Love the wavy moves by Summer na 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 I feel like this expresses that summery feeling perfectly. And I don't know why, but the chorus part gives me magical vibes. Concept matching 10 out of 10. Fun to watch 10 out of 10, love the different formations. Creativity 10 out of 10. I always feel like Enhippen brings something new to the table in terms of choreography. Execution 10 out of 10, king behavior is what we stand. Overall, 10 out of 10, can't give them any less. Quality. 8 out of 10, I say as I watch it in 480p. Styling. 9 out of 10. It all matches the school concept, especially love the beach outfits, because they be real cute. I am not the biggest fan of the red and black outfits which is the reason it doesn't get a 10. Would I watch it again, because I actually enjoyed it, or just to stream, because I really enjoyed it? Overall. First impression, 9 out of 10. Fresh and cool mates, fresh and cool. Concept, 10 out of 10 love love love. Creativity spice, 10 out of 10 incredible shows topping. Execution, 10 out of 10, I mean what did you expect me to say? Matching this, song, MV. Chorio, outfits, 10 out of 10. Addictiveness, 10 out of 10, and the more I listen to it the more I love it, yes to addictiveness. Final conclusion, 10 out of 10, honestly so in love with this, I love the concept and all the vibes it's giving me. So proud of the boys, Stan and Hippin, Stan Kings. That's all. Bop or not, bibba dibba bidda bop, bibbidi bibbidi bop. Did I know the group artist before listening? Yes. Did I stand the group artist before listening? Yes. Also can someone please explain to me what happened and why when I was trying to get the MV this is what was downloaded because I don't even have words. It is almost Christmas. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, we are going to do a Christmas play. Hooray! First impression. 6 out of 10. I thought it was good, but it didn't stand out to me at all. Concept style. 9 out of 10. I think it's a great more mature cute concept song, like it doesn't make me cringe or feel awkward. It's sweet, but still fun. Creativity spice factor. 6 out of 10. Because I technically feel like anyone could release this song, but at the same time I like how it was cute, but not overly so. Melody, 8 out of 10, at first I felt like it was very generic, like it didn't stand out to me, but it was still a good song, like I never hated or disliked any part of it. I like it a lot more after listening to it a few times. Lyrics 7 out of 10, overall good lyrics, some lines are top notch, others are just average. Love how it can be aimed towards both answers and an actual crush though. Execution 10 out of 10, they gave it their all, and you can tell. Vocal 10 out of 10, queens are serving. Rap 7 out of 10, I did like the rap, I just didn't love it. Was it added to my playlist, because I genuinely liked it, at first no but later yes. General, 6 out of 10, because it sounded generic at first. Overall, 9 out of 10, because I love the concept, and it grew on me. Concept 10 out of 10, I think it's super cute to be honest. For me a spot on mix of grown and cute but still not childish. Creativity spice factor 10 out of 10. 
love the way they did this actually. I think it was cleverly done, and I really fell in love with the MV the first time I saw it. Music lyric matching 10 out of 10. I love how all the scenes match the lyrics and make sense. Love how colorful it is, which also matches the song so much. Story, it gives me a bit of storyline vibes. Like I love all the small throwbacks and references to their older songs. Also feel like the sceneries, like the dorm, stage and red carpet is a reference to the idol life, but maybe that's just me reading too much into it. Also love the crush storyline, with the dorm and prom scenes. I find it super cute and feel like it was the perfect way to capture both the vibe of the song and the lyrics. So basically I sense two different stories within the music video, the K-pop idol life with the dorm, stage, red carpet, and the teen crush, with the dorm and prom, also the cute little prom photo op. Have to give it a 9 out of 10. Choreography, 10 out of 10. Music lyric matching, 10 out of 10. Some of the moves are perfectly spot on to me, like the butterfly, shoot and boy I know you got the feels are chef's kisses. Concept matching, 10 out of 10, love how it's a mix of cute and mature. Fun to watch, 10 out of 10, I love how they really use the amount of members to their favor, OT9 in our hearts I miss Jian Ji and please rest well, and I hope you feel better soon. Creativity, have to say 10 out of 10. Love the butterfly part. Loved the subtleness of the more mature parts, like it's definitely there, but I don't feel like it's in your face or extreme in any way. Execution, 8 out of 10. Jihyo's stage presence is out of this world, Sana is a queen, Nayeon, Dahyun and Momo are serving. Young, Sayo and Mina ate their parts up in their own ways. Personally, it's just missing some expressions for when it's not their part they're not in center. Overall, 10 out of 10, I might be biased on this, because I love twice choreographies. Quality, 10 out of 10. Love the fact that it isn't all green screen. Love that it feels real, and that they had so much decorative stuff which to me brings it to life. Styling, 10 out of 10. Love the different fits, and how they match the concept so much. I would also dare say that I feel it's very fair this time, there's like one outfit I don't like, but I can ignore that for the overall. Would I watch it again, because I actually enjoyed it, or just to stream? Because I thought it was on point. Overall. First impression, 8 out of 10, didn't love the song at first, but absolutely loved the music video from like the first second. Concept, 10 out of 10, love this type of cutesy sound, I feel like it shows how much they have grown as a group. Creativity Spice, 8 out of 10. Execution, 9 out of 10. Machimachi, Song, MV, Choreo, Outfits, 10 out of 10 Slay Addictiveness, so here's the thing. When I first heard the song I liked it, but I didn't think it was anything special. But then all of a sudden I was going around singing boy I boy I boy I know I know you got the feels, and now I'm like you have stolen my heart oh he 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 I got all the feels for sewer boy I boy I boy I know I know you got the feels, so it's a 10 out of 10 for sure, it was a creeper for me. Final conclusion, it has to be a 10 out of 10, because the MV is bomb and the song is extremely addictive like I seriously can't stop going around singing it. Bop or not, it's a bop for me. Now if someone was watching this to begin with I don't think anyone actually survived to the end. I have realized a fatal flaw in my ranking system. It takes forever to go through and forever to talk about. I might have to think of a shorter version for next time. Anyways, have I ignored all my responsibilities in the work to make this? Yes, yes I have. Thank you me for making my life harder. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very long and in-depth ranking video. Feel free to let me know your opinion of the comebacks in the video, hey or whatever else you'd like to say in the comments down below. It's good and normal that we all don't think the same. Don't forget to give this video a like or dislike, whatever you thought of it and subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me that's it cut wow done ed you balled it